What's up everybody, my name is Jordan Hughes and I am a professional beverage photographer. I always kind of chuckle when I say that because it doesn't really sound real. When I was starting out, there wasn't a whole lot of education online specific to beverage photography. There's a lot of food photography education, a lot of stuff about portraiture, and a lot of that helped. But with beverage photography, there's a lot of unique nuance. So it took me a while to kind of piece together these different things from different disciplines in photography and then apply them to beverage photography. So now it's one of the things I do is try to make learning beverage photography and getting into this niche uh, a lot more accessible by sharing what I've learned and hopefully making it easier for all of you. My first tip or recommendation for you if you want to get into beverage photography is to master using off-camera flash. Now there's a few reasons for this. One of them is, uh, you know, with beverage photography, you're often shooting in darker environments. I quite often go to bars, restaurants, distilleries, places where there isn't always a lot of natural light or I'm shooting in the evening. So not being constrained to, you know, where the sun is or how many windows you have is pretty important, but also one once you've really gotten into using flash or some form of you know, artificial light, this just gives you a lot more control over your imagery. And when you're capturing subjects that are reflective or semi-transparent like cocktails or bottles, it just really helps to have a lot of control over your lighting. So really, the more you can dive in to not just using your flash, but just understanding lighting and how it works as a whole will really benefit you. The second thing is that reflections are your friend not your enemy. A lot of my own students come to me saying things like, I'm getting these harsh highlights or reflections in the glass or bottle I'm shooting. How do I get rid of them? Can I fix it in camera? Can I go into Photoshop and you know clone them out? And I usually respond with, you aren't trying to get rid of them. You're trying to shape them. You're trying to get them to do your bidding because highlights and reflections, even though sometimes they can be annoying or harsh, you know, they can actually help you because they give your subject more dimension. They can show your viewer the texture of the glass or the liquid. So instead of trying to get rid of them completely, more think through, okay, how can I use them? How can I shape them? And how can they actually benefit what I'm photographing? Number three is to like before liquid. This refers to having your lighting set up and really as much of your shot dialed in as possible before you make the drink, before any liquid hits the glass. Because cocktails have a lifespan, uh, especially if you're making one with ice, you know, that's going to melt, uh, garnishes are going to, you know, wither. It's something that you want to capture when it's looking its best, not a few minutes after you've poured it and it looks kind of sad and melty. So make sure you have your, your glass ready. I'll usually start with an empty glass, the one that I'm going to use for the shoot. I'll place that, maybe I'll swap out the backgrounds, add in some props, change the direction or power level of my lights. Basically just having everything as much as possible figured out before you pour the drink. Number four is know what kind of story you want to tell. Really beverage photography isn't that much different from any other photography niche or discipline. It's all about storytelling. Unfortunately, a lot of people come into it kind of just approaching it like, all right, I'm taking a picture of a Manhattan on a table and that's it. <laughs> Not a whole lot of story there, uh, but you really do have to think through, okay, what do I want my viewer to feel and see through my imagery? A lot of my work, is kind of more on the editorial side. Very much, you know, focused on cocktails, but pretty simple as far as propping or set design. I very much want my viewers to see my imagery and feel like they're at a bar or feel like they're in this environment being served this cocktail. So as you capture beverages, it might feel as ah, simple. I'm just making a drink and putting it somewhere, taking a quick photo to really have work that is not just beautiful, but actually connects with people, you have to go a little deeper with that. Even with making a drink or pouring a beer or a glass of wine, you do want to think through story and mood and lighting and what that communicates to your viewer. 
The last thing is to learn some mixology basics, uh, some bartending 101. That sort of thing would really actually help you when it comes to photographing cocktails and beverages. Uh, one of the reasons being it will help you know how to style these subjects more effectively and accurately. An example is one of my own students did a photo of a margarita, which was really beautiful, well lit, great composition and everything, but the one problem was that she styled it with a mixing glass. Now a margarita is usually a drink that is shaken uh, and a mixing glass is something used for stirred drinks like old fashions, martinis. It's not something you would actually use to make a margarita. So that might seem like a really small detail, but you know, if you're shooting drink photos for a liquor client and their target market is bartenders or people who know drinks, that's just gonna look kind of awkward, you know, if you're placing tools or props that don't make sense for the drink. So knowing some basics will really help you. These five things will at least help get you started, but the world of beverage photography is very big and exciting and potentially lucrative. Uh, there's lots of opportunity for you to work with liquor brands, hospitality groups, bars, restaurants, all kinds of things. So if you wanna learn more, be sure to say what's up on Instagram and YouTube at Cocktail Camera. I'd love to connect and show you more.